A question I get a lot is how to create some content on a web page that overlaps other things and sort of layers on top. And you can see this thing right here. This is actually a ping with a drop shadow and it's got some transparency going on and that was just created in Illustrator. But how do I get it positioned here and make it so that if I do this with the browser window, make it smaller or bigger, it goes with the whole page. Well, let me show you how to do that using Dreamweaver. So let me go over to Dreamweaver. And if you look over here, I've got kind of a start page. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use something called an AP div. A lot of people that work in Dreamweaver want to use these because they're basically drawn divs. So let's take a look at one. If I look over on the right over here, you'll see the insert panel. If I click on that, and I'll see that we have what's called the layout options or the layout menu here. If I click on that, I'll see we have what's called draw AP div. Now, if you click on that, come out to the page, you can click and drag to draw a div, let go, and you've got yourself a div. Now, you can take this thing and click on the edge of it, you'll see right there, and basically either drag it around or grab a corner or a side and resize it. Now, a lot of people, when they move it around, they're like, oh, cool, it's going to stick right there. Well, you're right. It is going to stick in place, and if I move over far enough, you'll see there it is right there. Now, it's not going to do exactly what you want, but let's do this. I'm going to put an image inside. So if you insert your cursor by clicking inside, you can either use styling or however you want to get this done. It's going to create a style for you. As a matter of fact, if I look at the CSS styles panel and I click on the minus there, you'll see style one, AP div one. If I double click on that, I can edit the formatting and set a background image, color, whatever I want. I'm just going to insert an image directly. So with my cursor in there, I'm going to insert image. And I've got an image on my desktop called Pop-Up. It's just a ping I created in Illustrator. Really, really simple. If I click OK, whatever. You want to do accessibility, right? Don't say whatever. I know I do that right now. But I'll click on that, and there's my image. Now, I'm going to make sure my image size is 248 by 266. If I click on the box here, the div, click on the edge of it, I can come here and go to width and just kind of do the same thing. Now you can also try and just resize it, you know, by grabbing the corner if you want to do that, but I want it to be exact. Okay. Now I drag it over here, get it on the side, move over, take a look. Awesome. I'll save the page. Go look at it in the browser. Preview in Firefox. What's going on? <laughs> if you look, you're going to see that, okay, well, it's not exactly where I put it. And if I do this with the browser window, because my whole site is centered, that thing's going to stay in place. Here's what's happening. This div, this thing that has fire sale inside of it, this box, is what's called absolutely positioned. That's why they call it an AP div. Now, it's absolutely positioned from the upper left corner of the browser window right here. Okay, which basically means that no matter where this content is, this thing is always going to be positioned so far over from here, from the left and from the top. Now, if I go back over to Dreamweaver, what I could do is I could take this div, this the actual HTML, and put it inside of something like the header right here. Let me show you that. So I'll go to what's called split view here. Now I've got that div selected so it selects it in the code for me. I can see it right there. If you look, you'll also see that I've got my header right here. Let's suppose that I want to have it close to the header or positioned somewhere around the header and move with it. I will take this content and literally drag it into the header right after, and you see right here, it doesn't have to go exactly here, but right after div class equals header right there, and just stick it right there. Okay, I'll go back to design, take a look, and I'm like, awesome. Now, it's in that header box, which means it kind of should stay with it, right? All right, well, let me save this and go take a look at it. I'm just going to tell you that it won't. And watch. Now, here's the thing. Here's what's happening. If you take this div, this AP div, and you literally put the code inside of the header, like I said, I'm thinking it's going to start from here then or start from somewhere and stay with the header. But here's one of the issues with working with CSS. Divs on the page. If you have a div inside of a div, literally the code's inside of it, it's not going to position itself relative to that div unless that containing div has positioning. It's really bizarre. But so this fire sale div is going to look at the header box. I'll start calling boxes header box and say, oh, you don't have any positioning, so it's almost like you're not even there. So we're going to look at the next box. If there's a wrapper around this, it would say, oh, okay, wrapper, do you have any positioning? Nope. Let's go to the next thing, which is the browser window, so it goes there. So what we do is we kind of trick it. 
we say, okay, fire sale box. If you're in the header, I want the header to have some kind of positioning just so it knows to position itself relative to the header. That sounds kind of weird, but here's what we do. We take the header style or the style for that box and we put what's called a property of position relative. So let me go back to Dreamweaver. I'll go back over to my styles over here. Now I know that this box right here, this green one, is my header style. I can kind of tell right down here it says div.header, dig class equals header. So I go over to my styles over here, find my header style. I'll double click to open it up. You can do it in the code as well. Go to positioning and position it relative. That's the trick. So if I click OK, not going to look like much is changing out here, but if I now take this box and move it around, this box, the fire sale box, is now relative, positioned relative to the header box because this thing now has positioning. Now that positioning of relative we put on the header doesn't do anything to the header. It doesn't move it, doesn't do anything. It just says, okay, well, we could do something, <laughs> but that's it. We're just tricking it. So I save it, go take a look at it in Firefox, and look what I get. It's pretty awesome. Now, if you wanted this fire sale div here, this, this box to be way down here at the bottom, I wouldn't put its code in the header and position it down there. Try and put its code, the div code, inside of the box that's closest to it, basically. So like the footer box. Make the footer box or have the footer box style have a position of relative and you should be good. So there we go. That's a nice easy way to be able to take one div, put it inside of another div, and have it position itself according to that div from the upper left corner of that div.